Okay, today I'm going to show you how I make my belt loops for my Kydex holsters. I already got the piece cut out. It's about a six inch piece. I have a couple lines marked for the diameters, or the, not the diameter, but the, the general layout of my belt loops. And then I have here my Kydex jig. And I'll show you how that all works after the fact. But the first thing you got to do is you take your Kydex and you put it into your toaster oven or your other heat source. Always use gloves because it is going to get hot in there. And it helps to have like an infrared thermometer. And now it's the waiting game. Okay, well seeing the Kydex is almost ready, I decided I'll, I'll talk to you a little bit about my jig that I made here. It's kind of hard to explain exactly how it does, but you use this piece to push down the Kydex and it folds the two ends up. When you fold this over, it folds them both in the same direction and then you can lock it down and hold it in place instead of holding it with your hands or, you know, getting a clamp. It's a, it's probably overkill for it, you know, I made it where you can do at least two pieces of Kydex at a time, two little belt loops. I mean, I'm sure there's other people that are like, you're doing it the wrong way, there's easier ways of doing it, but I like to make little tools and stuff like this, just kind of what I do. Let's take a look at this Kydex, see what we're running on temperature here. Uh, 299, 300. So we'll just wait a little bit more, wait for it to get up to 350. I mean, these things turned out pretty good. I mean, this were, these were my first attempt with this jig, and I, I noticed a few of the little problems I had. First off, I didn't shape it first, and it came out a little crooked. I'm going to try to fix that now. I drew this little straight line to line, it up, line them up with. It's 90 to these. And so it, they should come out a little bit straighter. Just that waiting game. I will post dimensions up for this. Uh, if anyone asks, I will put up dimensions. It's pretty simple. I mean, I had to put like these bolts in it because when I first used this piece and this piece all broke off. So you definitely have to use bolts, not screws. Uh, 3.40. Uh, wait a couple more minutes here. I'll show you how this thing works. Make sure everything's ready for you. Got all that extra dirt. There we go. Pizza's done. Stick this in here, like this. Get your little lines lined up. Just like that. You take this and get it out of the way because it's hot. Take your block here, set it down. You push it down. Pull this down. Make sure everything is going the right direction. Down it goes. And you lock it in place. And then you wait for it to cool off. You can kind of see it in there, not really well, but we'll see how these turn out once they cool. Okay, now that we got this thing, it's probably cooled off enough here. So let's pop open your latch. Flip this piece forward, and there you got a belt loop. Just make sure it's hard enough to move around, which it is. Out it comes. Kind of loose that up a little bit. And peel the thing off, and there you go. Your handy dandy belt loops. And that is nice and uniform. I mean, you don't get much better than that. That'll fit my gun belt that I use. It will slide over the end. Nice and tight. 
I mean, I make them a little loose because, well, you get your definition from your gun, you don't get much space. That is my quick and easy way of making Kydex belt loops. Well, thanks for watching.